when you are feeling is it something okay or something it is okay sir there are few uh, there are uh, many questions that are given as a part of uh, uh, tutorials and practice assignments after mm -hmm. doing all those questions we got somehow uh, some command on the yeah uh, i think there are only uh, some three types of uh, test right Yes, yes. Okay, so let me let me clarify. Uh, let me discuss those first. After that, we'll do the so, um, questions from the slides. Okay. So you people will tell me. Uh, suppose I'm assuming uh, my null hypothesis is uh, let's say uh, mu is something mu naught, and I'm saying alternative hypothesis is something let's say mu is greater than mu naught. So what kind of test uh, this is? This is uh, right, 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 right. So right then. Yeah, so suppose uh, test statistics, uh, statistics. I'm going to uh, take as x bar. So what should be the rejection region? Greater than c. Greater than c, right? Based on this one, correct? And what will be the z? It will be x bar minus mu naught divided by, by standard deviation. Correct? But, yeah, very inspired. Yeah. Yeah. Suppose I'm saying my null hypothesis is this one. And my alternative hypothesis is: so what kind of test this one is? Left, left, uh, left. This is left, left. Left tail right, test. Correct, correct. Left tail test, right? And what, what will be the rejection region? It will be less it's than. Far C. less than C. Correct, correct. And uh, suppose. Uh, Excuse I'm me, saying, sir. Uh, my uh, uh, yes, please. Sir, I have not actually gone through the lecture, so why can you uh, explain why it is selected? Because like, it is uh, less than. Okay, so you see, see, there are two scenario of taking the hypothesis. One is uh, null hypothesis. You are taking as equal to mu naught. Okay, this is something value which will okay. be given in your question. Okay, and uh, suppose you are interested to take. Uh, I mean, you are interested to check whether this mu. Population mu is greater than that value or not? So for this, I'm uh, taking a one test statistic that is something b. Okay, so I will perform this test. I will compute some alpha and all things. So based on this, uh, at the end I will decide my x bar. This is the sample b. Whether this is greater than this value c or not? Mm. Okay. So if x bar is greater than than c, then I will say my null hypothesis is being to rejected. Okay. Okay. Same for the left tail test. Okay. I will draw a graph for left and. Uh, so what will be the uh, rejection region for this two tail test? Any bar is less than. Mod x bar minus mod x greater than c. Okay. So yeah, one important thing I want to say: these all things will be provided in formula sheet. Okay. In which kind of hypothesis you have to take, uh, which uh, what kind of rejection region? These all things will be provided in formula six. Okay, no need to worry about this thing. Got it? So, but uh, it's a uh, good to keep in your mind. That will be helpful for you. Okay, so let me draw one thing. Uh, what is the meaning of two tail test and z? Okay, so suppose uh, I'm taking z as a standard normal. Okay, so what you we are doing in two tail test? Uh, just a second. Anybody can tell me. Suppose this is z equal to zero. Okay, z is nothing but it is following standard normal zero comma one. Okay. So, what is the rejection region? So suppose this is minus uh, z alpha and this is the z alpha. Okay. So what we are doing in two tail test? So this is the rejection region. This is the rejection region. So this part is alpha by two. This part is Alpha by two. Okay. Now you can compare with this one. We are considering this one is x bar is x minus x bar minus mu naught is greater than c and x bar minus mu naught is less than minus c. Correct? Yes. Okay. Same thing we are doing. So this both uh, will simultaneously will make the alpha. Correct? Right. Yeah. Now what we are doing in case of right tail test. So what is meaning of right tail test? Means we are consider. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay, just uh, suppose this is z equal to zero. There is symmetry. Uh, symmetry uh, city. So in case of right tail test, that means we are considering only this part, right? This is my yes. alpha. This is my the rejection region, correct? Right. Okay. And what will be the in case of left tail test? 
means we are considering only suppose this is z equal to zero so we are considering only suppose this is z equal to minus alpha so we are considering only this left part okay right clear this one clear okay so let's start this peer text slide so just uh, okay so you what you have to do just enter join pd.com on your browser after that you have to enter this code and g x k s r So click join it fast so that we can start the uh, questions of the slides. Okay, ten of you have joined. Okay, so funda is clear. Left tail, right tail, two tail. So all of you. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, there is some critical value. Okay, so anyone of you can tell me what is the meaning of alpha actually? Suppose I'm saying alpha is zero point zero five. Then what does uh, does this mean? it means uh, you are uh, rejecting only 5% of the null hypothesis okay mm. anybody are... this is a probability of we committing a type 1 error that means even if uh, a null hypothesis is true we end up rejecting null hypothesis that probability is alpha. yeah that means something suppose i'm saying i'm performing any experiment i mean same experiment uh, Again and again for a large number of trials, then uh, I can say there is five percent chance that I will reject H not when H not is true. Correct? That means alpha zero point zero five. That means if I am mean performing an experiment again and again for let's say large number of times, then I will say there is a five percent chance I will reject null hypothesis even though null hypothesis was correct, was true. Got it? Okay, so there are around 24, uh, only 4 to 16 of you joined. Okay, so Funda is clear about alpha and uh, uh, right tail, left tail, two tail test. Is that okay for everyone? Am I audible, right? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's wait for uh, one more minute. After that, we will start the session. Okay, so please join it fast. Okay, so that uh, start. Okay, so you have to enter this code uh, N G X K S R. Okay. Okay, so 16 of you have joined, so rest of the people please join it fast. Okay, so what is the power of the test? 1 minus beta. And that's the mathematical term. Okay. So, what do you understand by the power of the test? Probability of rejecting null hypothesis given alternate is true. Okay. That means what? Uh, uh, your alternative was true. Means your null hypothesis was wrong, yes. and you are rejecting null, the null. Correct? Okay. So you okay? So what? You can think like this. Uh, see, what is the your alpha? Alpha is probability of rejecting H not when H not is the true. Correct? And beta is what? Probability of accept H not. Correct? Then H is true, correct? This is the alpha and beta, right? So you can interpret like suppose there is a item, some products of a manufacturing company. So what you can interpret? I mean, uh, you are rejecting that 
item okay even though that item was good okay so this is something you can say uh, what is this called this is something called can i say this is something producer series correct means why is the producer series uh, risk because suppose i uh, that item that product of the company was good even though uh, the customer was rejected correct and what is the beta means you accept you have accepted that uh, item or that uh, product even though that item was not good correct are you getting so this is something called that? yeah this is something called alpha this is something called beta okay so let me start the slides okay so this is the first question uh saying uh, your x is the random variable this is following uh, normal with mean mu and variance is 4 so for uh, n is equal to 100 i add samples of the x the observed sample mean is 11.8 okay so this is the x bar value is given to you right now what conclusion would a z test reach if the null hypothesis is 10 and against the alternative hypothesis mu is not equal to 10 so which kind of test uh, you are going to apply there two tail test two tail test that means option 5 is correct okay accordingly you have to choose now so you have to choose the correct options okay so i am going to give 3 minutes for this one uh, if we feel we'll extend the time limit okay so question is clear to all of you, you have to just uh, find whether all of these options which are the correct one whether you will accept alpha whether you will uh, reject alpha i mean accept h not and reject h not okay हेलो हेलो बिनी ना हाँ बिनी रे हाँ नरेंद्र जी योर माइक इज़ ऑन आई हैव म्यूटेड so do you need extra time limit anybody uh yes sir uh, yes sir we need 3 minute
Okay, so any one of you wants uh, extra time? Sir, to calculate with the significance level of 0.05, the given value is sufficient, like uh, Fz inverse of 0.025, that is sufficient. But to calculate with 0.1, we would be needing Fz inverse of okay, 0.1. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so according to, okay, so you can calculate from, uh, okay, so for, uh, based on the 5%, uh, you can do the for the 10% also, right? Okay, so anyone of you want extra time limit or is that okay? Should we proceed? Anybody? After one minute, please. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Okay, so for 10, uh, I think uh, this value is for 5 only, right? Yes, sir, this value is for 5% only. Okay, okay, okay. So for 10, I think it will be FZ um, of minus 1.64 is coming. Something like that. What are you getting FZ of? FZ inverse of point not five. Meaning FZ inverse of point not five, huh? So for that, uh, I think uh, value should be 1.64 minus 1.6. Yeah, right. Okay, so should we proceed or? Okay, so do you need extra time? Anybody or should we proceed? Hello. Am I audible right all of you? Or is there something? Okay, so if you are not, uh, please respond because uh, accordingly I will do the things, okay? Else it will be like I will give the time limit and uh, after uh, the end of time limit I will see the solution. So someone is in two five nine two five seven nine two five two five six seven two five six three. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so some of uh, uh, which okay. So why not one? Why is only two? Anybody who has entered two? So why not one? So we are using sample mean for the test. Correct. Well. We are going to test for the uh, mean. Okay. So we will use the test statistics of X bar. Okay. So since uh, what is the okay? So what what the things are given to us? X is normal, uh, mu comma four, right? And what as the uh, there are hundred samples, correct? If I'm not wrong. So these hundred samples are uh, following IIDX, correct? And X bar was how much? It was uh, eleven point eight. Correct. Now tell me, if X is following uh, n comma uh, any X is following normal mu comma four, then what will be the X bar? Normal mu by uh, mu four comma four by root n. Root n. Not here hundred, right? It will be hundred here, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Correct. Now, so since we are okay, what is the minor hypothesis? Minor hypothesis is mu is 10, and alternative hypothesis I'm going to take as mu is not equal to 10. So, what is this is two sided test, correct? So, for the two sided test, what will be the test uh, statistics? X bar. So, X bar minus mu, right? I can take that. So, what will be my test? So, test will be. Uh, I will reject H naught when if my x bar minus mu is greater than some constant c, right? And what is this? Is this is this is called critical value, correct? Right or not? 
see yes sir from here two tail test what you can say this is something this is something right i mean i'm considering mod of x bar minus mu is greater than c that means x bar is uh, greater than mu plus c and x bar is less than mu minus c right so this is something mu minus c and this is something mu plus c this is something i am going to consider greater part and less than this part correct this uh, this things we have to do in case of two sided test are you getting is it okay for everyone yes yes sir so now so tell me uh, so my x bar is so now <clears throat> so what is the alpha probability of rejecting h not given that h not is true so what is the probability of rejecting h not i mean what is the uh, condition for rejecting h not my x bar minus mu should be greater than c correct what is given h not means mu should be 10 it is okay for everyone yes. now tell me if x bar is normal mu comma 4 by 100 then what will be x bar minus mu it will be normal 0 comma 4 by 100 yes, correct sir. or not correct now so tell me <laughs> what uh, what should be the next step uh, after this it can be written as 1 minus probability of mod x bar minus mu less than c yeah we can do right. that like this or else uh, let's convert into the uh, standard normal variate right so this should be uh, square root of 2 by 10 2 by 10 i mean that's the square root of variance that means 2 by 10 right since uh, this should be greater than c by 2 by 10 okay so see here uh, mu is already subtracted correct see i am consider going to consider this one right So mu is already zero. If you subtract c minus zero, you will get the same thing. Correct? This is okay for everyone. So what is this? This is something probability of mod g greater than five c. Correct? So what? 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 Uh, what is the meaning of this one? That means z is greater than five c, and I mean or z is less than minus five c. Correct. This is something. Can I write this one or not? Yes, sir. So yes, what sir. Is probability z is greater than five c plus probability of z is less than minus five c, right? So let me add one more thing. So what is the, okay? So what should we do after this one? Since this is two-sided test, that means what? Suppose this is z equal to zero. Suppose this is five c and this is minus five c. So by the symmetricity, these two things are equal. Yes, sir. I can write down the probability of z is uh, less than minus five c plus probability of g is less than minus five c. Correct. That means what? Two times of probability g is less than minus five c. That means two times of f g minus five c. Correct. And alpha is I am going to consider as zero point zero five. So far it is okay for everyone. So yes, what will be if you divide by two? I will get zero point zero two five equal to f g minus five c, right? So from here I will get minus five c equal to f g inverse zero point zero two five, correct? And this value is given to us as minus one point nine six, correct? So C will be one point nine six divided by five. So what will be value of this one? One point nine six. Point three nine two. One three nine two. Correct. Okay. Now, so what? Uh, what? Uh, what was our test? Mod of x bar minus mu. So x bar was something eleven point eight. Mu was ten. Correct. So what is this? One point eight, which 1. is greater 8. than C. Which is greater than C. That means what? My here. What is it? Reject H. Okay, so I will reject H not at alpha is equal to zero point zero five. Same thing you can do for the ten uh, percent. Okay. So which of the minus sign there, sir? Sorry. What will happen to the minus sign because it was minus five C, right? 
yeah so minus 5c right so minus 5c and fg inverse of uh, 0.025 right correct so value of fg inverse 0.025 is minus 1.96 oh, oh so both minus will cancel out okay got it yeah yeah okay, so correct option should be 2 and it's a two sided g test and i will reject h not as 10% i will reject h not as 5% okay so this question is clear to all of you sir can you show the p value approach like because uh, using p value you will get mm -hmm. the minimum significance level at which we will uh, okay so p is something here a proportion in terms of no no not this not this question i am asking generally okay, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do we'll do okay, okay. So the same thing which we have discussed here, our uh, hypothesis is something uh, two-sided test. Since it's a, it's a two-sided test, that means I will consider my test statistics as uh, x bar minus mu. Okay. So what will the my test test? I will reject H naught when x bar minus mu is greater than c. So is it, is it clear why we are taking this kind of uh, test? Is it clear to all of you? Okay. From this graph. Uh, it is clear to all of you? Yes, okay. Not a doubt. Anybody? Clear, sir. Okay. okay, great. So the same thing we have done. Okay, so see something yeah, 0 0.392, someone told. So I will reject H not I. Okay. So let's move to the question number two. So it's a, just a first part of this one. So question is saying, uh, it is claimed that lifetimes of the light bulbs are normally distributed with mean of 100 hours and a standard deviation of 2 hours. Okay. So I want to test the hypothesis mu is equal to 100 and hypothesis mu is not equal to 100 with a sample of size 9. So now tell me, which kind of test uh, is this? This is a uh, two-sided two test, right? Yes, sir. So we have to find the significance level. We have to find the value of alpha if the acceptance region is this one. So be clear with it. It is saying it's the acceptance region. Okay, so, uh, Raji Lakshmi, can you? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks. So it's given that acceptance region. You have to find the value of alpha. Okay. So if it's a, a acceptance region, so to find the alpha, I need rejection region, right? So what will be the rejection region? See, this is the acceptance region. So, what will be the rejection Not region? Not of x bar minus uh, 1.5 is greater than 100. No, no. It's a simply x bar is greater than 100, 100 uh, 1.5 or x bar is less than 98.5, right? See. What x bar right? minus uh, 100. Okay, that's your uh, be greater than 1.5. Yeah, that's More yeah, that's uh, that will be my test statistic. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. That's greater than 1.5. Yeah, yeah, because see, if this thing, this is the uh, rejection region. That means this is this is the one minus alpha, right? This is the my acceptance region. Okay, in the question, it's saying uh, this is this. Okay, let me draw a new graph. So it's saying. Uh, Suppose this is z equal to 0, I'm considering, and this is the z alpha, okay? It's a two-sided test, and suppose this is minus z alpha, okay? So this is the alpha by 2, this is the alpha by 2, and these two are rejection uh, region. So this is 1 minus alpha is the acceptance region, okay? That means what? Here, your x, uh, uh, z is lies between minus z alpha to z alpha, right? Okay? So this acceptance region, this green region is given to you. 98.5 is less than uh, z less than something so we have to find the rejection region that uh, someone told x bar minus uh, 100 is greater than 1.5 that's all correct okay or you can interpret like uh, z is greater than z alpha that will be rejection region or z is less than minus z alpha it will be rejection region question is clear to all of you yes okay. so i'm going to give three minutes after that if you will we will extend the time Meantime, can you please flash the question number one, sir, on your screen? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? Hello. A previous question, if you can show it for us for, for a second. Uh, 
uh, question, okay? Yeah, previous question. This one? Yeah, just give me a second. Okay, sure, sir. Then? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay, so do you need extra time limit? Sir, three more minutes or some more. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure.
So, do you need extra time limit? Anybody? Yes, sir. Seconds, that is again, sir. Okay, so let me give one minute so that everyone can do the question. Another time limit. Okay, let me give thirty seconds. <clears throat> Okay, so should we proceed or uh, any one of you are still trying? Was uh, I have received only uh, six responses uh, from your side? So, any one of you trying? Uh, if you are trying or should we? Responding, so the ability. Okay, so someone is saying uh, 0 0.024, 0 0.024. So one answer is 0 0.012, and the uh, rest of the options are same. Okay, so let's do. Okay, so you got the uh, acceptance region and rejection region. See, what the question is saying. Uh, suppose I'm saying, see, what is the meaning of two sided test? As I told you, suppose this is the Standard uh, curve of the normal curve, uh, curve of the normal distribution, which is the bell shaped curve. So, what we are testing in case of two sided, this is x bar minus mu is greater than c, correct? That means x bar is uh, x bar minus mu is greater than c, or x bar minus mu is less than minus c, right? Yes, sir. That means what we are doing, that means x bar is greater than mu plus c, and x bar is less than mu minus c. So this is the, let's say this is your mu plus c and this is the mu minus c, okay? If x bar will be greater than this, I will reject my h0 or less than this, I will reject, reject h0. But in the case of, uh, in this question, question is saying x bar is lies between 98.5 and uh, what was the upper limit? 101.5. 101.5, right? 0.5. So if these, these two are rejection regions, so this is the acceptance region, correct? So this acceptance region is given to us, correct? Suppose this is the 98.5 and this is the 101.5, right? So what will be the rejection region? What will be the alpha? So alpha will be when, okay, so what is the alpha? We have to find the alpha, okay? Under H0 is true. And uh, as per the question, I, I have to find the alpha. So what will be the rejection region? That means my X bar is greater than 101.5 or x bar is less than 98.5 right yes given h0 so what is the h0 h0 is mu mu was 100 correct mm -hmm. now so so this thing is same as uh, mod of x bar minus 100 100 which is greater than 1.5 yes correct this thing is okay for everyone Yes. See, this is something x bar minus mu, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to find out the value of alpha. So since uh, my x x x bar is uh, x is following normal with mean mu and variance was 
uh, I mean variance will be four, right? So what will be the distribution of x bar? Normal mu comma four by nine, nine, right? Because uh, n is the nine in, in this case. So if okay. So here, uh, what will be the uh, distribution of x bar minus mu? Uh, zero uh, comma four by nine, right? So here, mu is the hundred under the null hypothesis. So it will be mod of x bar minus hundred divided by uh, two by three, three, right? Two by three greater than one point five divided by two by three. Is it okay for everyone? So alpha is the probability of mod of z is greater than one point five divided by two by three. Correct. So what is this value? Right. Two point two five. Two point two five. Now. As for the two-sided test, okay. So what I can write down from here? So z is greater than two point two five, or z uh, z is less than minus two point two five. So as for the symmetricity, okay. So these two sided are equal, correct? Uh, someone is saying, how did the variance become four by nine? So Rajesh, uh, in the question, n is given as nine, okay. So Okay, so n is given nine, and we know if x is following normal mu comma sigma square, then distribution of x bar will be normal mu comma sigma square by n. Okay, so sigma square is sigma is given to us as two, so sigma square will be four, and n n is given as nine. Okay, is this clear now? So probability. People find that uh, sigma is given as two. Uh, that's why I asked. Sorry. I didn't want to disturb the flow. I couldn't find that uh, sigma is given as two yeah, in the problem. It's given as standard deviation is two, right? Sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, my mistake. Yeah. No issue. No problem. So as per the symmetricity, I can write down the z is less than minus two point two five, right? Plus probability of z is less than minus two point two five, correct? This uh, is, uh, this thing is equal. So alpha will be uh, so it will be two times of probability z is less than Minus two point two five, correct? So since it, this is the CDF of the standard normal, so it will be two times of F J uh, minus two point two five. So value of F J two minus two point two five is given in the question. What is that? Zero point zero one two. Someone has entered this value directly, right? So what will be zero point zero two four four, right? This is the value of Okay, so this is clear to all of you. Yes, sir. Sir. Yes. Sir, the question it should be uh, mean mu and standard deviation two hours. Sir. Yeah, standard deviation is two hours, right? Yes, sir. And the mean it should it should not be hundred, sir. It should be mu, sir. General. Oh in the question. yes, yes, yeah. Correct, correct. It should be in general and hypothesis should be mu equal to hundred accordingly. We can do. Okay. okay sir. Yeah, yeah. And uh, okay, and uh, but uh, this thing is also given to us, right? Where your x bar is uh, lying between. So this is this information is already given. Okay. Okay, yeah, the same thing which we uh, we have done. Uh, mu was hundred, h a was mu, mu is not equal to hundred. So we will reject h not because see, we had given this acceptance reason. So rejection reason will be. Either x bar will be greater than one not one point five, or x bar will be less than ninety eight point five. And we have done this thing. I can uh, write as mod of x bar minus hundred greater than one point five. The same procedure we will do. So this question is clear to all of you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So next question is same, uh, but here you have to find out the power of the test against the alternative that true mean and life is one not three. Because in case of uh, power, what we are doing, reject probability of reject H not when H is true. So in that case, you have to take mean life as one not three. Okay. Question is clear to all of you. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to give three minutes. If we feel we'll extend the time limit. Okay. So just do it. So can you please uh, flash the solution screen for the previous question? Uh, this one. Yes, sir. Okay. 
and uh, don't worry about the slides uh, at the end of the session after the end of the session we'll upload on the portal slides okay sir thank yeah. you sir. also you can access uh, slides uh, of uh, till week 10 i think from the i think it's under supplementary content if i'm not wrong okay sir yeah so this we should consider one not one not three as alternate yeah. Correct, correct. Because see, it says uh, for this alternative, what what will be the your power of the test? Okay. So because okay, so what is your power basically? Power is what one minus beta. So one minus beta is defined as probability of rejecting H naught when H is true. So what what H A you will take? So I'm considering mu is one not three. Okay. For this one not three, what will be the probability of rejecting H naught? Sir, and the critical value we will take as a 1.5 that was given earlier, right? Uh, critical value? Uh, I mean, to put the rejection region, we will need a mod x bar minus mu greater than c, right? Mm -hmm. That c value we will get from the previous question itself, right? 1.5 or? Yeah, you can take that one, okay? Or else what you can do, just consider the rejection region means what is the rejection more uh, x bar will be greater than one not one point five right okay okay so one not one point five greater than mu equal to one not three i mean that will give you i think mu is one I think uh, I should extend the time limit. End term is on, I think, 30th of April. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I think after the deadline of week 12 assignments, you have enough time. Sir, by that time, you will be giving the weightage, <coughs> um, no, sir? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll post on the discourse uh, week 5 weightage. But the major proportion will be from uh, 9 to 12. Okay. Some proportion will be from 1 to 8 also, but uh, major, major uh, weightage will be from 9 to Because uh, in quiz 1, we are considering 1 to 4. Okay? In quiz 2, we are considering major portion from the 5 to 8, some portion from the 1 to 4. And similarly, uh, for the interim exam, we are considering major portion from the 9 to 12 and some portion from the 1 to 8. You can expect the same level of the quiz too. And there is one good thing is uh, there is uh, no need to remember the formulas, all the PDF expected value, right? Yes. So, formulas it will be provided. Even though what is the method of moments, what is the maximum likelihood, some concepts of uh, those things uh, will also be provided in the formula set. Uh, along with uh, all the distributions with their uh, PDF, CDF, uh, expected value and variance. And uh, those inequality, Markov inequality, Chebyshev inequality, central limit theorem, all these things will be provided. Or even though uh, uh, what will be the test statistics uh, accordingly uh, as per your hypothesis for G test, T test, F test, you will study in week 12. So all those things will be provided. You have to just apply your concept. So you have to be clear with the concept. That's all. So week eleven uh, open session has been uh, completed. Yeah, yeah, it's on. Only one session was there, and in that only size and power has been explained till there only. I after think the uh, session was uh, done on the this uh, last Sunday, right? It was only with, uh, limited to size and power. After that, uh, it wasn't there. Okay. okay, so I will check. Uh, okay, we'll check with the. Okay. So 
so was there any situation i mean in between live session uh, live streaming was stopped somehow no no it was of 2 hours and it was only of size and power till size and power after that it yeah, so covered. basically we are doing this one right he he, uh, he requested to refer last year's uh three video, uh, live sessions which is posted in the portal okay 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 okay, okay so now uh, you are get, uh, uh, are you getting the idea of this statistics and nothing so let me yeah. do it and uh but sir sir it's a little tough like yeah yeah we'll we'll do the yeah, so the sessions uh, with srikant sir has already uh suggested to all of you just uh, go through that and uh, do the questions with us or uh, no okay uh, yeah i hope uh, things will be clear that's why i'm drawing some graph and all so that things will be clear too. okay yeah so it's a direct thing if uh, altern in alternative hypothesis something is not equal to that means we are considering two sided test and if something greater than something suppose mu is greater than some constant that means we are considering right sided test if mu is less than something that means we are considering the left sided test so in, during the uh, interim exams all this uh, uh, things will be provided to, to all of you in the formula sheet okay so do you need extra time limit because i have received only three responses you are trying so i can extend the time limit uh, yes sir please one minute yeah oh so thanks Okay, so should we proceed or do we want uh, extra time? Anybody? Proceed, sir. Proceed. But see, uh, please uh, do the question because I received only three responses. So it's a uh, good for you. Okay. So point nine eight, point nine eight eight, point zero two four. Okay. So what is the uh, basically power of the test? One minus beta something probability that what is the probability of I will reject H not when H is true, right? And uh, acceptance reason is given to us, correct? In the question, what will be the rejection if x bar is greater than one not one point five or x bar is less than ninety eight point five, right? Yes, correct. Now, so probability will be uh, x bar is greater than one not one point five or X bar is less than ninety-eight point five when mu is one not three. In the question, it is given. So that means probability of X bar is greater than one not one point five, given that mu is one not three, plus probability of X bar less than ninety-eight point five, given that mu is equal to one not three. So far, it is clear. Yeah. Now, so what what is the X bar? X bar will be normal. mu comma 4 by 9 right correct so probability that x bar minus what is the mu 1 not 3 divided by 2 by 3 correct greater than 1 not 1.5 minus 1 not 3 divided by 2 by 3 so far so good for everyone yes plus probability that x bar is less than Uh, x bar minus one not three divided by two by three less than ninety eight point five minus one not three divided by two by three, correct? So what is this? This is the z, correct? So z is greater than what is this value? Minus two point two five. Minus two point two five. 
ओके प्लस जेड इज लेस देन व्हाट विल बी दिस 6.7 माइनस 6.7 ओके नाउ व्हाट आई कैन राइट डाउन राइट दिस इज प्रोबेबिलिटी जेड इज लेस देन माइनस 2.25 राइट प्लस प्रोबेबिलिटी जेड इज लेस देन माइनस 6.7 नाउ टेल मी एफ 1 माइनस एफ जेड माइनस 2.25 राइट प्लस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ जेड इज लेस देन माइनस 6.75 so this value is given to us right yes sir what was that i think uh, 0.012 0.012 now so what about this quantity that is zero that is approximately zero right yeah okay so that means we can say this is approximately 1 minus 0.012 it will be uh, 0.98 right yes okay so why this is zero because it is the value is very, very less right kind of because see z is mean is uh, zero it's very far from uh, this minus 6.75 right yes so this is clear to all of you so do we move yeah the same thing we have uh, i have done the solution okay same same calculus okay now great so this is the question number 3 so it's saying a commonly uh, described drug for relieving nervous uh, tension is believed to be 40% effective to determine if a new drug is superior in providing relief suppose that 100 people who were suffering with the nervous tension are chosen at random and if more than 50 of them are found to be relieved we reject the null hypothesis the new drug will be considered superior to the one current in okay so what will be the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis in this case 0.4 zero 0.4 null is uh, greater 0.5 sir no p no. is greater than 0.4 so null is p is equal to 0.4 right yeah 0.4 okay and i'm interested if more than 50 of them that means probability will be greater than 0.4 right i mean that p will be greater than 0.4 hmm. see i am interested to test that new drug is superior that means i am interested to test p is greater than 0.4 right are you getting uh, the idea yeah yes, yes yes so here question is about p so here uh, okay so here one hint is given use normal approximation to the binomial that means see here i have to consider the binomial why because that what will be either that will be defect, uh, effective or not i mean uh, like that okay mm -hmm. okay so you have to use the binomial accordingly you have to approximate to the so i'm going to give 3 uh, minutes for this okay so in this question here it is mentioned the find the probability type two for p is equal to 0.6 means you have to consider the Uh, alternative hypothesis as p is equal to 0.6 while you are computing the uh, beta but in case of uh, alpha uh, you have to consider the h not which is 0.4 question is clear to all of you sir is it binomial sir yeah it's a binomial because see what we are doing new drug is uh, something whether it's relieving or not right so there is only two possibility correct that will be effective or not effective you to approximate that binomial to normal you know how to do this one right using clt yeah using the clt and we are using the clt in the previous two questions we have used right to find the alpha and all things what we have to do we have to convert um, in, in terms of standard normal variate accordingly we will see the values of fj capital fj so here critical value is given to you any one of you can tell me what is that 50 great means i will reject my h not when some t that t is greater than 50 correct
So, any one of you want extra time? Hello. Uh, Raj, can you mute? Please, sir, because there is some background noise on your side. Yeah, thanks, thanks. So, you can unmute when want to stay so i have given one more minute if you want so we'll uh, extend the time limit So anyone of you want, uh, want some extra time limit or should we proceed? Anybody? So 0 0.021 and uh, 0 0.02, someone has given the same answer. So, 0.021 0 0.979 someone is enter 1.00 okay so is it possible alpha should be or beta should be 1 someone is enter 2 i don't know why okay so let's proceed okay and one more thing should i solve or uh, we can discuss the solution itself what will be the better we can discuss also we can discuss also is that fine for everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Thanks. So, see, in the question, it says, uh, what is the test? We have to test if the new drug is superior. That means my null is 0.4 and alternative is 0. greater than 1. Okay. Now, critical value is given to us. C is the 50. Means I'm, I will reject my H0. In the question, it is clearly said, uh, you we have to, uh, as you can see, we have to reject the null, null hypothesis when more than 50 of them will uh, will, uh, will found to be relieved right so that is i'm interested to reject as of if t is greater than c that means t is greater than 50 what is the t t is here 100 comma p it will follow n comma p right and if i will apply the binomial so what will be the it, it will be normal 100 p comma 100 p 1 minus p Correct. And I mean, this approximation is clear to all of you. Yes. So why is it required to convert into normal? Sir? Any reason? Okay. So when uh, okay. So for computing the fz to find the fz, what you have to do? I have to convert the random variable in, in in the form of standard normal, right? Yeah. Okay. 
एज पर द सी एल टी कॉन्सेप्ट इफ एन इज लार्ज ओके सो इफ देर इज बायोमियल समथिंग सो आई कैन अप्रोक्सीमेट टू द नॉर्मल करेक्ट और नॉट ओके कट इट सो बाय द सी एल टी कॉन्सेप्ट सो हेयर अल्फा इज टाइप वन एरर वी हैव टू फाइंड वॉट इज द टाइप वन एरर दैट मीन्स प्रोबेबिलिटी आई विल रिजेक्ट then there will be i will reject my h not when there will be more than 50 given that p is equal to 0.4 so it will be z it will z means you will do t minus uh, 100.4 like this so here uh, it will this uh, t will become z i mean when you will transform so uh, this inequality will be 50 minus mean so mean is 100 into 0.4 divided by sigma that's the meaning of uh, converting in standard normal value right so it will be square root of 100.4 into 0.6 because uh, it's it, it is follow 100 p 1 minus p so p is 0.4 and 1 minus p is the 0.6 so if you solve i will get 1 minus subject 2.04 so values of uh, subject 2.04 is given as 0.979 so i will get probability of type 1 error as 0.021 now what is the probability of type 2 error so probability of type 2 error means probability is accepting h not when h is true so if t is greater than 50 for more than 50 i will rejecting h not so less than or equal to 50 i will accept yes. correct at the given p is equal to 0.6 in the question it is given for this probability uh, i have to check the what is the probability that i will accept my h not okay so this will become z it will be less or equal to 50 minus 100 into 0.6 because in this case p is the 0.6 divided by square root of 100 0.6 0.4 so it will be fz minus 2.04 which is nothing but 0. Point. Okay, so this is clear to all of you. Sir, here fz is minus 2.04. Mm -hmm. So this value is same as above. Uh, okay. So minus. One second. One second. One second. so if i am writing uh, fz okay so z is what was that so what is meaning of this means probability z is less than 2.04 right and I'm, if i am fz minus 2.04 what is what is meaning of this probability z is less than minus 2.04 mm. correct now if you draw the curve what is this one Okay, uh, both the. Uh, If I will draw the curve. Minus side and. Okay. So, but this is zero point two point zero four. This is minus two point zero four, right? Okay. Okay. So this is that means probability of z greater than this, z less than is the same. same. But okay, so but uh, less than probability I have zero point zero two one. See, uh, are you getting because uh, what I can write? probability z is greater than 2.04 i can write 1 minus probability z is less than 2.04 right mm -hmm. so probability of this will be same as the okay yes yes clear clear and so uh, how are we converting that to normal from binomial okay so as per the clt whatever your uh, initial uh, samples are okay whatever your original distributions of your uh exercise r mm -hmm. as per the clt when n is the large okay if you convert it uh, i will as per the clt if n is large then uh, it will be uh, standard normal distribution okay so because uh, so, so what in the case of uh, we are doing suppose x is the let's say let's consider the binomial okay here it's let's say 100 comma p and for the n being the large okay So what we are doing? Let's say I am interested in to finding the x bar is less than c. What let's say let's say x x is uh, let's say x bar is less than some constant. Let's it's a fifty. Okay. So in case of CLT, it will be normally uh, normal with mean mu and variance sigma square. So what will be the mean of binomial n p? So it will be hundred times p. And what is the sig variance in case of binomial n p q? Right. So it will be hundred p one minus p. Okay, just uh, go to the CLT concept. Uh, okay. We have to use this. Okay, 
so this is clear to all of you this one done yes so i think uh, okay so let's uh, move to the question number 4 now here the proportion of elders living in a small town uh is given to us right uh who are college graduates is estimated to be p is equal to 0.4 correct now same to test this hypothesis against the alternative p is greater than 0.4 you decided to you have to decide to take a sample of elders from the town so first question is saying what sample size do you need test for a test uh, do you need for a test against alternative hypothesis p is equal to 0.6 at a significance level of 5% and power 95% so you uh, okay so to find the sample size we have to equate the alpha and 1 minus beta right are you getting hello why is so so okay so because we are getting the two probabilities okay we have to find the alpha value and we have to find the 1 minus beta value right if we equate these two i will get the sample size because there is something trade off between these two okay okay so to find the sample size if you remember from the lecture video to find the sample size i will equate alpha i mean i will find the alpha i will find the 1 minus beta see uh, this is the 5% for the 1 minus beta it's a 95 so power is the 95% okay so you have to apply the power and accordingly you have to proceed got it so just do this and uh, enter the so i think i'm going to give 3 minutes i think uh, i will extend the time limit for this one sir what will be the mean in this case uh which mean I mean what kind of mean uh for normalizing uh, mu no it's the proportion right so p is given to as 0.4 yes sir okay so you to consider x bar is greater than c correct and given that p is equal to 0.4 Are you getting? So it will be C minus P. Okay. So in case of sample proportion, what uh, is the in case of sample proportion? What is the mean? Mean is the P, and what is the variance? P into one minus P divided by n, right? Yes, sir. Okay. If for the x by n, this is the mean, and this is the variance, right? Okay. So this value is given to you, and uh, you can find out the variance. This is clear. this is the sample proportion right yes sir okay is it clear to all of you
सर प्लीज एक्सटेंड द टाइम Uh, another time yes sir if possible yeah yeah sure sure no problem
सर या या यस यस सर एक्चुअली आई एम स्टक विद आई हैव गॉट टू इक्वेशन बट देयर आर टू वेरिएबल्स सी एंड एन सो नो यू यू गॉट सम समथिंग लाइक दैट सी इक्वल टू समथिंग फॉर अल्फा एंड सी इक्वल टू समथिंग फॉर बीटा राइट बट इन दैट इक्वेशन एन इज आल्सो देयर yeah and it's also there i'm saying x equal to a and x equal to b okay are you getting c i'm saying you mm -hmm. uh, if you solve alpha you will get c is equal to some quantity right and if you solve for beta you will get some c equal to something right right but that is in terms of n yeah okay that's okay so what i'm saying suppose x is a and uh, x equal to b so can okay, i then write equate both okay 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 Correct? okay He, that's he why, okay. yeah that's why i said uh, please equate those two okay okay yeah thank you so i'm going to extend uh, for three more minutes so that uh, everyone can solve the question so how many more questions there because after 20 minutes another match session starts yeah i think uh, one more question is there that's all okay. and see now you you got why we are equating yes sir and uh, one more thing there is one more concept because we will get optimal value of n when uh, see suppose i will get some lower bound for c some upper bound for c right and mm -hmm. i will get some value for c some value for x okay mm -hmm. so suppose this is the lower bound let's say lower bound and this is let's say upper bound mm -hmm. so between these two there is a gap something right yeah. so when you will get uh, best value of n at the extreme or the center yeah i mean i will get the best value of n when i will consider the lower bound of c is equal to upper bound right correct that's why we are equating these two so this is a value of n when it comes in fractions uh, which we should consider the round off hello Okay, so any one of you want uh, extra time limit? One minute, sir. Oh, sure, sure. Sir, this value of n, mm -hmm. it is in fraction. Which one should you consider, the lower or the upper? Uh, in fraction, I mean, uh, what? I mean, if it, it, what is coming out of it? Suppose it is sixty-four point five. Ah, so consider, consider it as sixty-five. Uh, Was it something more than that, right? You should always consider more, no? Ah, Not ah. Because see, if it's something like sixty-three point six, so you can ah. consider sixty-four. If it's something sixty-three point two, let's say sixty-three point one or sixty-three point two, so you can consider as sixty-three also will be okay. Sixty-four will be also okay. Sixty-three means it may cross over, right? The yeah, sixty. It's something sixty-three point. Let's say consider more than five. So it's definitely it's something about sixty-four, right? Like if the question is even sixty three point one, 
if we consider 63 then the lower bound and upper bound will cross right uh yes yeah yeah so we so, should never yeah, always correct correct just consider more, more, more than one yeah. more right yeah, yeah it will be good also okay so any other want extra time or uh, should we proceed sir one more minute sir. okay so and we have to find the critical value also right if you once you have find out the value of n then you can put the value of uh, n in any of the equation right and uh, you yeah. will get the value of c and anything is okay yeah i think because see what because is it, it, it will, we will get two values right yeah because we do not be exactly matching see so it, which no. one should we suppose n is 65 right right so if you put n is equal to 65 in equation uh, i mean the first equation where alpha you have computed you can get any uh, value of n uh, value of c right uh, if in both equations the value will change right it will not be same value right i don't think uh, it should be same yes, yes, it's not because the, the it is a fraction right it is not 65 we rounded it so if we use 65 it will be mm -hmm. different value right so which one we should use uh then try to use the alpha one i mean alpha one so first one yeah, i think we can check it's a something okay we'll see we'll see we'll see this okay. okay so is there someone who want extra time limit or should we so just want to put the answer so okay 30 so second yeah, yeah sure sir sure no issues <clears throat> Sir, calculating yeah. these type of questions is very yeah. tough in exam. Uh, okay, so but in the exam there will not be question like uh, you have to compute alpha, you have to compute one minus beta both. One thing may be there. Okay, there will be, uh, but it it uh, it may be in sub parts like uh, one question like uh, what will suppose we have given some scenario, you have to identify what will be the hypothesis, and for that hypothesis. What will be your alpha or uh, what will be your power of test? Any one will be uh, your to count. But uh, yeah, uh, thing is that uh, there won't be any too much uh, typical calculation. Calculation will be straightforward. Okay, sir, sir, sir. In some question, we have to find f inverse value also. That question. Yeah, that will be provided. Okay, sir. Here, see, like here, it has been provided, right? I mean, it's the, it means FZ inverse the 0.95 value is 1.64, right? Yes. Okay. So accordingly, things will look better. So let's discuss the solution. See, H0 is proportion is 0.4 and alternative is greater than 0.4. Okay. Now, in the question, it says uh, alpha is 5%, power of the test is 95%. Now, it's uh, something binomial and comma P, X is binomial and comma P. So sample proportion will be what? So NP. One second, one second. So NP, NP one minus P. Sir, P is the count, sir. Yeah, P is okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So for the X bar, X bar is what? Summation of XI by N, right? Yes, sir. So it will be normal P comma one uh, P comma variance will be P into one minus P by N, right? Okay, now what will be the test statistics? As alternative is greater than 0.4, that means I will reject my H0 when X bar is the greater than C, right? Correct? Yes. Now, come to this part. Alpha is given to us as 0 0.05. So I will reject H0 when X bar is greater than the uh, greater than C, given that H H0 is 2. So for that, P is the 0.4. Now I have to convert in terms of standard normal. So it will be x bar minus p divided by square root of p 1 minus p divided by n. So greater than c minus p divided by square root of p into 1 minus p at given value p is the 0.4. So p is the g, uh, g is greater than c minus 0.4 divided by 0 0.24 divided by n. I mean, it's a square root of, uh, I mean, square root of uh, 0.24 divided by n. So now, 
so i can write it down uh, one minus probability z less than this quantity right yes so it will be one minus fz this quantity from here i got 0.95 is equal to fg c minus 0.4 divided by the square root of 0.24 divided by n now why is the 0.94 because one uh, fz will be left hand side so it will be one minus 0.05 right so i will get c is equal to square root of 0.24 divided by n fg inverse 0 0.95 plus 0 0.64 uh, 0 0.4 right this is the one equation we got with the help of probability one error now 1 minus beta is given as 0.95 right and in the question it says for this uh, power of the test we have to use the alternative hypothesis p is equal to 0.6 correct so we have to use the uh, alternative because what is the power probability of rejecting h0 when h is the true so h is true for that h i have to consider p is 0.6 so next uh, step is I, I have to convert in the standard normal variable so it will be uh, c minus 0.6 divided by square root of 124 divided by n now since this is something g greater than this quantity so i will write it 1 minus subject c minus 0.6 divided by square root of 124 by n now uh, so it's the 1 minus beta is 0 0.95 so 1 minus 0 0.95 will be uh, 0 0.05 fg of this quantity so if i you, you will uh, equate uh, solve you will get c is equal to square root of 0.24 divided by n fg inverse 0 0.05 plus 6 now these two values is given to us right fg inverse uh, fg of 1.64 equal to 0.95 and fg minus 1.64 is 0 0.025 now we can equate both equations correct so i will get this value something 2 into 1.64 square root of 0 0.24 divided by n is 0 0.2 so if you solve i will get n is approximately 65 now if you put uh, 65 in the equation one i will get c critical value as the 0.4 okay this is clear to find the n is equal to 65 i have to do like, like this question is clear to all of you sir huh? sir can you show the first page of the solution uh, this one no, sir, previous. Uh, this is? Yes, sir. Sir, your T is initially count, sir. It, it is binomial N, comma P. Mm -hmm. This number of graduates initially. Yeah. The T value, sir. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's something it's considered. Uh, so here you can, uh, here this strategy has been defined in terms of T. You can directly uh, write down t is fine binomial n comma p then x bar is follow uh, normal p comma p one minus p by n okay uh don't confuse like t is the number of air and t is the again we are considering x bar so here t is i'm considering as x bar just for a simplicity i mean i will write uh see at the final uh so can we can we solve using np and np one one minus p that p part you use uh, the problem. Instead of the proportion, mm -hmm. whether the binomial can be used here? Mm, one minute. Because if you are using that one, so it will be uh, t is greater than some c. That means uh, c minus np divided by square root of np 1 minus t, right? Right. Uh, yes. One second. Let me see in the question what is asking about. So it's asking about proportion of adults, right? Yeah. If you are taking the proportion, it will be mean will be p, right? Mean will be p, correct. But uh, mm -hmm. we can do the count also, right? Based on the proportion. See, what is hypothesis? Hypothesis is given to us as for uh, 0.4, right? It's uh, so given that, us for the p, I mean correct. proportion. So it means 40 people, right? It means uh, out of how many? 100. 100, okay, okay. So it means 40 people. So Okay, so you are, uh, yeah, I think, I think you can do yeah, you can think. so okay, so it will be something p is uh, forty and p is greater than forty, right? You are talking yes, about yes, industry. Yes, yeah, I yes. think I don't think there should be any problem. Okay, you can try and uh, you can also, sir. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. So t is binomial n p means what, sir? So it means that t means, is number out yes, of it. Yeah, it's it is considering total number of uh, adults living in the small town. 
there are n number of uh, adders and t is the probability for that Okay, so okay. how it become x bar? How so, did it? Okay, here what we are considering, we are considering the p is the point four probability. Okay, yes, accordingly sir. we have to do. Uh, okay, so what uh, it's okay. So let's let uh, just tell me if x is follow binomial and p comma uh, and p one minus p right? Not this one. Uh, yes, is uh, normal right? And p and p one minus p right? approximately to normal yes, I mean, initially it was binomial so for a large number of sample it's uh, like that now tell me if it's this so what will be the distribution of x bar by n Are, sorry uh, for x bar what will the mean mean will be p n p by n n p by n that means mean will be p right and variance will be p into 1 minus p divided by n right Yes, sir. Now, we have given. Uh, sir, why the mean will be p? Because uh, mean of uh, x bar will be same as mean of x bar. See, x bar is what? x one plus so on x one by n, right? Right. So, what is the expected value of x bar? Expected okay, one by n into n into. So it will be p p p means n times p divided by n, right? And we get cancel. You will get. No, no, expectation of each x is np, right? What you have written in the uh, equation on the top, x belongs to normal of n. No, no, no. Okay, okay. It's a normal. I, mean, I will do the normal approximation, right? Okay. See, so it's a normal approximation. Initially, my x is the binomial n, p, right? Okay. Okay. If it's n, p, then what will be the x bar? x bar will be p. Okay. If I, if uh, I can directly, no, sir, I am, I'm confused. When x is following binomial of n n comma p, mm -hmm. the mean of each x is n p. Mean of each x i, yeah, each x is each x i is n p. Mm -hmm. There are n such x i s here. See, suppose I'm saying these all are uh, i i d. Okay. Binomial Bino n comma n comma p. Okay. Right. So, of is the NP, right? Expectation of XI is NP. Sir? No. Right. Yes, For I understand. For the large, uh, large sample, what I can write down this thing? It will be something normal. Yeah, yeah. This I understood. Normal of NP, comma NP into N minus one P. N one minus P. That's fine. Right. Uh, so no. expectation of each XI is NP, right? No. The the previous okay. equation. Okay. 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 See. Now, tell me if I'm if I'm consider this one for large okay. sample, for from here, what what will be the expected expected value of x bar? X bar yes, x bar we can write as x one plus x two and so on x n divided by n. See, if x is following normal, mu comma sigma is square, hmm. x is bar is the for uh, uh, mu is sigma is square by n. That's all, right? Right. In right. case of now. In case of here, what I uh, I will I can write down what is the x by n? What is the x bar? In case of bar, sigma bar, x by sigma x by. What is the x bar? X bar is a sample mean. X bar is a sample summation x by n, right? Right. If each x is the binomial. Okay. Yeah. So, what will be the uh, mean expected value of x bar? Yeah. Okay, forget about this thing. I'm going to consider for large sample uh, x bar. Hmm. Okay. Like for for large samples, expectation of x bar will be equal to expectation of x. That means p. And what so will the variance? Is Bernoulli, sir. C. Uh, okay. E C. Yes, p is. Uh, something binomial n comma p. So p is something we are going to consider all x i s. Correct. X i expectation of x i is p. Ex expectation of x i is p. Yeah, expectation of the sum is n p. N p. Correct. Okay. So for okay. So don't go by uh, don't go for this normal n p n p one minus p. If it's uh, confusing you, so what you can do each each x i is the something Bernoulli p. 
correct if i am going to consider all yeah, the exercises yeah. simultaneously that means it will be binomial and comma p yeah yeah let me sum so what what we are going to consider we are going to consider the x bar so what will the x bar if i will uh, normalize so it will be what will the expected value of x bar p p yes p correct because uh, expected value of x bar means expected value of x1 plus x2 plus so on x n divided by n right that means p p p uh, n times p divided by n so i will get p what will the variance of x bar 1 upon n is square uh, np 1 minus p correct yes sir so i will get p times 1 minus p divided by n right so if i will uh, for large num uh, when n will large by the cnp i can write down the x, x bar is follow p p 1 minus p divided by n now it is clear Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sir, for normalizing, you subtracted the expected correct, value. Correct. Correct. Because what is the normalization? What is the we have to make the standard normal. So what we have to do? Random variable minus expected value divided by standard deviation. It will become the standard normal variable. Okay. It will uh, convert into the uh, capital F Z value, and uh, we can use the capital F Z value to find the final value. In this proportion problems, we always use this approximation only, right? P correct. comma P into correct. one minus P B N. We never correct. use N P, right? Yes, and you can uh, get the idea from your hypothesis also, right? See, yeah. if uh, hypothesis is mu is something less than mu naught, and alternative is something mu is greater than mu mu naught, just consider the uh, right side test. So, what what will be my test is, uh, statistics? My sample mean will be greater than C, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The same thing you can consider from here. Okay, so your sample mean and your test uh, statistics will be x bar is what? What will be x bar? It will be mu comma sigma square by n. Okay? And your hypothesis was given in terms of the mu for the population mean. Clear? Okay. 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 So let's move to the last question. Here, here, what do we say about test statistic? It is, is it x bar or it is is it p? Yeah, here, here we are considering x bar, right? Because we are considering mean proportion. Okay. We are considering, right? Yeah. Proportion is p, right? Yeah, proportion is p, but what is the mean of the x bar? Is the p? Okay, okay, okay. See what is this proportion? Proportion for the adults living in the that is small town means probability of that p is the point four in that is small town, correct? And probability a uh, proportion of not being a uh, uh, there is a uh, non being an adult is will be point six, right? Are yeah, you getting? Yeah, see, actually, yeah. even though it looks like proportion, it is actually equal to mean of yeah, I mean, mean of yeah, the, the, yes. Mm -hmm. the test statistic that's what correct correct clear yeah. see you can initially uh, consider is whether that person that uh, person will be adult or non adult right so your xi will be bernoulli with probability p clear yes sir so let's move to the next question so what is the test statistic So test statistic is based on your alternative. So alternative is p is greater than 0.4. So test uh, statistics will be we will reject h not if x bar is greater than c, some constant value. Clear? If it's uh, something let's say alternative is defined as p is uh, alternative is defined as p is less than 0.4. So I will uh, my test will be I will reject h not if my x bar is less than c. Clear? as per your alternative you can define your test clear to all of you uh hello yes hello? yeah so let's move to the next question so this question is about a survey of 200 randomly selected students from a school revealed that 70% of them participants in extra curricular activities in schools So question is can we conclude at a five uh, percent level of significance that eighty percent of the students participates in the extracurricular activity? So now tell me what should be the null hypothesis and what should be the alternative? 
Nam should be eighty percent participate in this. And uh, alternative? Not equal to. Not equal to. Okay. Great. Again, we should take p is equal to point eight and p not equal to point eight, right? Yeah. And uh, if it's point eight, point not eight, accordingly, your uh, what will be the variance? P into one minus p divided by two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah, that's two uh, hundred. Got it? Now, now is it clear? Can you are you so able to relate? P should be point seven. P should be point seven. No. See, 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 not point seven. See, you have to take your p uh, from the uh, your hypothesis, right? So it says uh, eighty percent of the student participate in the extra activity. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, you have math session also, right? Um, eight. So, what is the alternative hypothesis? That's why I asked. Some, some of, uh, someone of you are told. Uh, see, here is there is no information about whether it should be more or less, right? So, here P is point A, that, and uh, I mean, eighty percent of the students participate in the extracurricular activity. So, your alternative hypothesis will be. Not equal to eighty percent. I mean, P is not equal to point. If it is not given, we should take not equal to. Yeah, there is something like this. See, what's given in the question? That is school revealed that seventy percent of them participate in extracurricular activity. That means I can consider mod of point seven minus point eight. You can directly consider the Z test also from there. Means difference between 0.7 and uh, hypothesis 0.7 minus 0.8 divided by the square root of the variance. Are you getting? No sir. Okay, so just apply the alpha value. Okay, just apply the. You can do by the alpha value also. So this is the information about your sample. Okay, and this is uh, information about your uh, uh, defining the hypothesis. So you can define p as the uh, point eight, and your alternative will be p uh, not equal to point eight. Okay, so let me extend the time limit. Uh, but sir, then we need the c value, right? To get the alpha. Yes, c value is the given to you, right? Uh, this seventy percent. Hmm? So alpha, uh, like for not p not equals to point eight. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what that is your uh, null hypothesis. Right. Correct. So right. what is your test uh, statistics in this case? Uh, x bar minus point eight mod of x bar minus point eight greater than c. See what is there. See if it's two-sided test. So what will be your test statistic? Mod of x bar minus mu. I mean here mu is the p greater than c, right? Right. So mu is I mean p is greater than 0.8, and x bar is given as the sample which is the 70%. So this 70% you can use in the last for comparing, and uh, with the help of 5% uh, level of significance you will get some value of c. Okay. Okay. And mod of x bar minus p. So what is your x bar? X bar is this seventy percent. Okay. 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 So Got that it. value you can get seventy minus point um, seven minus point eight. That mod of this value you have to compare whether it is greater than c or less than c. Accordingly, yes. you have to take the decision about your hypothesis. Understood. Understood, sir. Okay. Oh, this is the last one, sir. Uh, sorry? 
this is the last one together. Yeah, this is this is this is the last piece. I think uh, match session has been started, right? Sir, how to find C value here? See, what's information you have? You have alpha, correct? Your information yes. about hypothesis. What is your alpha? Alpha is probability of rejecting H naught when H naught is true. Correct? Yes, sir. So by that value, you have N also. So you can uh, find out the value of C or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Got it. So do you want extra time? Because I received only three responses. So let me extend time limit for one more minute. After that, uh, if you feel, just uh, tell me. We'll extend the time. So, do you need extra time limit? Anybody? Uh, yes, sir. One minute. Okay, so let me see the responses. People are saying we can't reject H naught, and one is saying, okay, so let's see the solution. So this is the one of uh, method one. So let's uh, discuss the method two. It's uh, something direct. Okay, we can find the jet uh, object value of jet. Okay, uh, with the help of uh, by I mean by making it as uh, see we have object. Uh, proportion which is 0.7 right and uh, estimate i mean uh, from the hypothesis it's given as 0.8 okay and what is the mean i mean what is the variance so variance will be p into 1 minus p divided by n correct so i mean in the denominator we have to take the square root so by this we'll get something value 3.53 and add the uh, 0 0.05 and c is equal to 1.96 uh, we can observe something if z is uh, greater than uh, c we will reject the h naught okay so this is the one method we can do directly but uh, let's discuss the traditional one which uh, we are doing the in, uh, in the session also so now what is alpha alpha is probability of rejecting your h naught when h naught is the true and what will be the test when i will reject my h naught since it's a two sided so i will take mod of x bar minus p greater than c so far it is clear Okay, now, and P is the point eight. It's given in the question. Now, we have to convert into uh, in the form of standard normal variate. So what we can do, we have to just subtract the mean and divide by the square root of variance. 
so here uh, i will get uh, mod of x bar minus 0.8 greater than uh, i mean divide by square root of 0.8 into 0.2 divided by 200 greater than c by square root of 0.8 into 0.2 divided by 200 okay any one of you can tell me why we are now subtracting c minus p mean is zero so. mean is zero because okay so now if it is something z is greater than c by some quantity so i can write down the two times of probability z is less than uh, this quantity or not this step is okay for you hello yes sir yes sir. okay so now so if this probability a uh, probability of z is less than minus 50 times c divided by square root of 2 this is nothing but cd of so it, it will be fz minus 50 c divided by square root of 2 So here 0.05 uh, divided by 2 because this 2 multiplication if you uh, took into the left hand side it will be 0.05 divided by 2. Now I will get the uh, see I will get F Z inverse of 0.025 correct and in the question it is given you have given value uh, F Z inverse of 0.025 is nothing but minus 1.96. So here I can substitute this value minus 1.96 correct. And it will be minus fifty c divided by square root of two. Now I got c is the point zero five. Now I have to test my statistics. So my test uh, is mod of x bar minus p. So x bar is the point seven zero from the sample minus point eight zero. It is it is point one zero which is greater than point zero five, right? That means I have to reject h not or not. Yes, sir. I have to reject. Since we are rejecting, that means option two is correct. So see, this step is clear. Mod of x bar minus p for the two-sided test. See, I think we have done one question here in the initial. Yeah. So for this, okay, I think uh, we have not compared uh, in the last. So in the in this case, wh what was the our test statistics? Mod of x bar minus hundred, right? So see, we have mod of x bar minus mu greater than some constant. So this c value we have found it out by computing the alpha, and this x bar was given in the my sample, correct? And this mu value we have taken from the our hypothesis because in that we had taken mu is something let's say hundred. Or alternative accordingly as per the whether it's a right tailed or whether it's a left sided or whether it's a two sided test. So we can take the value of mu from here. Okay. Clear? Is this clear? Every everything? Yes. Sir. Okay. So that's all about uh, your next slides. Okay. So uh, is there? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Please. Yes, Sir, can you explain the uh, first approach which you showed? Uh, okay, uh, one second. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, this one. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so what we are doing at the end? See here. Uh, what is the Z observed value? Something observed means what we are observing. I mean, what we are performing. So it's uh, something that see what. Okay, I had uh, mod of x bar minus p, right? Yeah. And mean for this was zero, and variance will be p into one minus p divided by n, right? See, right. X bar was normal, p comma p one minus p divided by n, right? This yes. Yeah. What will be the uh, mean of x bar minus p? It will be normal zero. Yes. Yes. One mm -hmm. minus. So what we are doing in case of z, how will I will get I will get my z of z value, x bar minus p divided by square root of p one minus p divided by n, right? Right. Correct. This is something we are doing uh, by comparing z greater than something. This is something we are uh, doing in the left hand side. So we can directly do, we can directly compare because see in the method two, what we are doing, we are comparing this value at the last. Correct. 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 So what we can do, we can compare this value in the initial also. So it's a 0.7 minus 0.8 divided by some thing, right? Some value. Mm -hmm. Now, what uh, I, uh, z object is? Z object is 3.53. Since it is greater than 1.96, right? 
So at yeah, at five percent level of significance, critical value is one point nine six. It's some it's the standard procedure actually. Right. Okay, are you getting? Since okay, there are some standard procedure. I mean, at five percent, what is your critical value? At one percent, what will be your critical value? Okay. Right. So you can directly compare also, or else we can proceed like this. Okay. Clear? Yeah. So, sir, in method one, mm -hmm. x bar is the point uh, seven zero. Yeah, it's from uh, sam in the sample. It's given, right? Seventy percent of them are participants uh, in extracurricular uh, curricular activity in the school. Okay. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. The same thing we have done here, right? We have to compare the so from where we I will get this uh, x bar. This x bar is given in the my question. This p. I got from my hypothesis. Okay. Okay. So, is there anything else, or uh, we can wind up? Can Sir, can you please share the method one again? I will take the screenshot. Uh, one second. Okay. So, I will put the this PDF slide on the portal. That will be okay. Just uh, after the end of the session, I will put on the. Portal, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can access from there. Okay. So let me stop the live stream.